What should you do if you see someone collapse who is not responsive? You know to call 911 and do continuous chest compression CPR. But what if you're in a place where an automated external defibrillator or AED is available? The availability and prompt use of an AED have been shown to save people's lives from sudden cardiac arrest. Dr. Gordon Avey and Dr. Carl Kern are the pioneers of continuous chest compression CPR. Both are professors at the University of Arizona College of Medicine and leaders of the resuscitation research group at the Sarver Heart Center. They will demonstrate what you should do if a person collapses unexpectedly and is not responsive in an area where an AED is available. First, shout and or forcibly rub the person's chest bone hard with your knuckles to determine if the person is unresponsive. Command someone to call 911. Call 911! Or make the call yourself. Then, if an AED is available... Hey, there's an AED upstairs. Go get it. Tell someone to get the AED while you begin continuous chest compression CPR. Using the AED is fail-proof. Just turn it on and follow the instructions. The voice prompts will walk you through each step. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. Oh, we don't need that, okay. When patient's chest is bare, remove protective cover and take out, look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one pad from the yellow plastic liner. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare skin. Patient. Note that one electrode pad is placed just below the right clavicle and the other on the left side, just below the level of the breast. If a straight line were drawn between the two electrodes, it would pass through the center of the heart. The electrodes will analyze whether a shock is necessary. Analyzing. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button. Shock delivered. Regardless of whether or not the AED delivers a shock, resume chest compressions until paramedics arrive. Be sure emergency medical services have been called. One of the most important parts in our program is that we recommend immediately after the shock is delivered, not to wait, not to reanalyze, but to begin compressions right away. Dr. Avey, what is happening to the heart during cardiac arrest, and how does the AED work? If you have a cardiac arrest, a very common problem is an electrical problem where some of the muscle is contracting and some is relaxing, and so it stops immediately pumping blood. So blood flow to the brain stops and the patient uh, collapses. So what the AED does or what the defibrillator does that the paramedic does is it puts a shock through the heart depolarizes them all at once, so then they can start beating normally again. How does the AED and continuous chest compression CPR work hand in hand in saving someone's life from sudden cardiac arrest? When someone fibrillates, uh, early on, if you shock it, that's all you need to do. And that's why automatic implantable defibrillators work, uh, et cetera. But if they fibrillate and nothing happens for a long period of time, the muscles don't have enough energy and blood and they get weaker and weaker and weaker and if you shock them, then nothing happens. So the, what cardiac massage does is keeps perfusing the heart so it fibrillates. So that even five and 10 minutes later, if it's fibrillating, you shock it and it survives. While training and practice is useful, you do not have to be certified to provide continuous chest compression CPR or to use an AED. Because of the Good Samaritan laws, you are not at legal risk. Sudden cardiac arrest can happen to anyone, anytime, any place without warning. By knowing continuous chest compression CPR and how to use an AED, you can be a lifesaver. For more information about continuous chest compression CPR and the use of an AED, visit the Sarver Heart Center website at the University of Arizona or the State of Arizona SHARE website. I'm Ann Peterson reporting.